Hi, this is a lesson uh, for third grade everyday math homelink 5.10. And the lesson is on measuring with millimeters. Uh, although actually it doesn't say it, there's also a lot of multiplication practice in this lesson too. And here we have a insect called a queen termite. And you can see it's a uh, pretty strange looking insect, but this is shown larger than the actual size. They're actually really tiny. So the size of your screen is going to change the, uh, how big this is, but if this was one centimeter, you can see the termite is only half a centimeter or five millimeters. That's how big it is. So the first question is how many termites would fit on one centimeter. And I think to start out, it would probably help to just draw these termites to get the answers to your question. So I'm not going to actually draw a termite with that much detail. I'm just going to make a mark to show how long another one would be, which is five millimeters. So you can see on one centimeter, you would fit two termites. Now, if you're good with multiplication, you could probably breeze through the rest of these quickly because if you know that two termites fit on one centimeter, it's just a matter of multiplying. But let's go ahead and just draw the next couple and then uh, we'll see if we can figure out the pattern. So next, how many termites would fit on five centimeters? Let's take a look. Okay. Here's five centimeters here. And now I'm going to draw a bunch of termites. And that's the best I can do. I made them different colors so you can see uh, how many there are. Don't forget to take out this one, but we have two, four, six, eight, ten termites on five centimeters. And you may start to sense the pattern here as you do this, as you draw the insects on the ruler. Um, but the next question is about 10 centimeters. Now, isn't 10 just double 5? So wouldn't the number just be double? Because 10 is double 5, so what's double 10? But let's just do it just to be safe. So over on this side, we already have 10. And now we're going to see how many fit on 10 centimeters. So there's 10 termites over here. Let's add the rest of them. So now we have two, four, six, eight, ten more. So ten and ten is going to give us twenty termites on ten centimeters. So you can write that answer here. And now, hopefully, you can start to see a pattern emerging. We call this algebraic thinking. And look at this. So think about one times what would give us two. Yeah, this is a little bit sloppy, but 1 times what equals 2? 5 times what equals 10? It's the same number down here. 10 times what gives us the answer that we have here. And once you figure out that pattern, you can apply it down here. 50 times your magical number gives you how many termites would fit into that much space because I don't you only have 15 centimeters here you could get your own meter stick but that's a lot of time if you can just figure out the pattern you can figure out the answer and then again here you just have to know in one meter stick how many centimeters are there and you can st stay with the same pattern and I think everybody or most people know this already but one meter is going to be 100 centimeters. So just write 100 centimeters. And so 100 centimeters times our number gives us the answer. And then 3 meter sticks would just be 100 times 3 or 100 plus 100 plus 100. So take that number and again, multiply it by 
our special number here, and that will give you the answer. And the next thing they're going to do is uh, ask you another question to challenge your thinking. So what would be the length of a chain of 60 termites? So if you had 60 termites lined up, how many centimeters would it be? How many meters would it be? How many millimeters would it be? I think a useful strategy for this, to figure this out, would be to make something we call a T-chart. And we can use the data we already have here to help us with the T-chart to figure out the answer to this problem. Okay, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, first of all, we call it a T-chart because it's shaped like a T. And we want to have our units here. So um, centimeters go here. Termites go here. Okay, that's better. This might look uh, for everyday math people uh, similar to an in and out box, and that's uh, essentially what it is. So let's look at this pattern here. Five centimeters would be 10 termites. And back here, 10 centimeters gave us 20 termites, if you remember correctly. So that data on our T chart would look like this. And you could probably just keep going and follow this pattern until you know how many centimeters would give you 60 termites. So just follow the pattern. And you have a rule here, which you should have figured out, of multiplication that we figured out back in the beginning. And that will give you the answer. And then once you have your answer here, you have to put it also into meters and millimeters. Let's just review that really quick. So we know 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So I'll choose a random number. How about uh, 56? Uh, 56 centimeters converted into meters is going to just be 56 hundredths meters. So that should help you do your conversion. We also know that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So we can say six centimeters would be equal to 60 millimeters. And 56 centimeters is going to be equal to 560 millimeters. This is called conversion or converting uh, from one unit to another unit. So these three answers are really all the same amount or the same number, but the units are changed. So you have to just use your knowledge of decimals and millimeters and centimeters and meters to figure out the answers here. Uh, this is actually a very involved home link. There's a lot going on here. And this uh, video is longer than I thought it would be when I first started making it. So just uh, try your best, and if you have questions, you can post them. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.